Last chance to play race six now into the back half of the Saturday evening program here. And we continue with the OSS presentation as the regular season winds down for these two-year-olds here tonight. For the Phillies, this will be their last regular season event leading up to the Super Finals one week from tonight. Final call for wagering here in race six. Starting gate is now rolling and the pacing Phillies are moving in, lining up field of nine for this rich OSS gold division. Number three, Springbridge Sassy at nine to five. Checks in as a two-time winner from four starts. Very lightly raced is this filly. She had that brilliant performance back in late July when she fired home in a last to first score with final quarter speed of 25 and two. She's had mixed results since then. And she's battled some sickness, and she's got issues behind the gate tonight. She's been a tricky filly at times, and that is the case here tonight. McDonnell lost her early. Springbridge Sassy with a break, and as far back as a result. Here they come. They're off and pacing. From the extreme outside, Sports Flicks blasting. Sports Flicks generating big speed to go for that lead. Second away at the inside, Cafe Society. They are taking a tuck into third goes Cinderella Delight. In at the rail, fourth is Be Best. Then off the speed is Summer Charm into fifth. Sixth as they drive their way to the quarter is Cafe Society. Then further back we go to find Blossom on the beach and Crisp Main and far back Springbridge Sassy. Quarter 26 and four, they're into the back stretch. With the lead, it's Sports Flicks. Second is Sweet Young Thing. Gap of two to Cinderella Delight. Then Be Best is fourth. Fifth inside to Summer Charm. Racing sixth is Cafe Society to three eighths. Then it's back to Blossom on the beach and Crisp Main. Main, and far back is Springbridge Sassy. The judges have lit the inquiry sign in all likelihood to review the start of Springbridge Sassy. In the meantime, the others are coming up to the midway point. They're there in 56 and 1, so a second quarter of 29 and 2 dished out by Sports Flicks. Sports Flicks into the final turn, leading it just over a length. Back in second, Sweet Young Thing to the rail. Third is Cinderella Delight. Cafe Society on the first over march up into fourth now. Bottled up inside from fifth is B Best. Sixth on the move is Blossom on the beach from the backfield. Also moving now comes Chris Main, and we've got a pocket pop as Sweet Young Thing is on the go right now. So the plugs have been fetched from the ears of Tempo Setter Sports Flicks as she's got company, company that's rolled right by. Sweet Young Thing takes the lead for Henry off three quarters in 126 now. Widens it out to a two-length lead. Sports Flicks pops to the outside again from in second. Then it's Cinderella Delight third. Be best into fourth now. They're in deep stretch. Sweet Young Thing is still there. Outside comes Sports Flicks again. Way out wide Cinderella Delight and Be Best. Sweet Young Thing holding on to win. It was Sweet Young Thing and then a three-wide battle for the other positions in 154.
Numbers on the board for race six, top four here, five, nine, six, one. Back to victory lane returns five, sweet young thing, a two-year-old sports writer filly out of the Camlock Mare Snowbird. Homebred owned by Lauren and Jean Keller of Exeter, Ontario. Pacing Philly hangs her harness bag in the barn of trainer Tony O'Sullivan and was driven victory tonight by Trevor Henry. It's the second victory in five starts for a sweet young thing as she wins in 154 to capture tonight's sixth. The judge's inquiry dealt with the start of number three, Springbridge Sassy. They reviewed whether or not she received a fair start. She did. She clearly is inside the yellow and white fair start marker when the others reached the black and white fair start pole. All horses did receive a fair start. All right, final uh, regular season gold for the two old pacing fillies goes to Sweet Young Thing, Tony O'Sullivan, the winning conditioner. And she was 12th on the points list. Uh, nice to get a little breathing room, isn't it? Yeah, we, uh, Sunday I looked and, and I knew it was third or better and a couple others needed to not perform. But I mean, a win puts us in the final and it's great because um, she's been a late bloomer, but she's a nice filly and, you know, we've had a little bit of bad luck. She parked the whole mile last week and... Um, for her to bounce back tonight is fantastic. Yeah, and I mean, you talk about not only getting in, but now getting that win and a little confidence ahead of next week too, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously when they win, it's confidence for them, right? And um, like I said, she's, you know, in March, she just was kind of there. In April, May, she got better. And um, she's just got better every week and come out of each race better. And her attitude's fantastic. And it, it's just great. She's a homebred. It's, it, it, it's really good. What did Trevor tell you? He said she was really good. He was real happy with her. He said she steered well, and um, you know it's a big quarter to leave in. And and he said when he moved around the two holes, she she sprinted hard. So um, he was very happy. It looks like a wide open division. Uh, all the best next week with her. Yeah, great. Thanks, Jay. All right, Tony O'Sullivan. It's the homebred here for Lauren and Gene Keller. Sweet young thing takes the final gold for the two-year-old pacing fillies.